We are with uh, Geoffrey Adair, head of uh, the European Watch Department of Sotheby's, just a few days before a very special sale with some special Breguet lots. Can you talk to us about those? We have in the sale um, a few Breguet lots which are of uh, prime importance. Uh, the first one is a painting of Abraham Lee Breguet. It's one of the few that uh, uh, remain in the hands of the family since the origin. We have also a personal notebook from his son Antoine Louis Breguet. And then we have uh, obviously the um, star lot of the cell, which is a Breguet highly complicated pocket watch uh, that belonged to uh, Sir Richard Wallace and has stayed in the family since then. Uh, which will be the highlight of the sale with an estimate of 600,000 to 1 million Swiss francs. Um, definitely we've tried to pay tribute to the 190 um, anniversary of uh, Breguet. I think it's uh, important today to really understand the contribution of uh, uh, Abraham Louis Breguet since the origin. He was uh, the inventor of the tourbillon. Uh, everything that you have in a wristwatch today, uh, most of it is due to uh, the ingeniosity of uh, Abraham Louis Breguet. There are only three pieces of that kind that uh, are recorded by Breguet. What we can see here is that the watch is extra flat, which is um, the main characteristic um, for this watch. And then it has a protective case which remains in an excellent condition. As you can see, the guilloche is really well preserved. You can open the lid here and then you have inside a fantastic mechanic, uh, mechanical movement with uh, various indications. So you have the moon phase on the top, you have the calendar with two aperture here, plus here a um, subsidiary dial. You have on the bottom the um, equation of time. You have on the top the uh, power reserve, which means the amount of reserve you have for the watch to be working. And you have on the outer case, the um, slide here, which is the device that gives you the half quarter uh, indication by means of a gong and a hammer. But more than this, you can also um, take out the watch which is inside and definitely you will see again here, I mean the watch is very, very flat, very slim. And if you look at the back, I mean, this is absolutely stunning. The um, quality of the guilloche is as new. You have in the middle uh, the coat of arms of the first owner, who was uh, Lord Henry Seymour, who bought this watch in 1831. From a collector's point of view, um, you have everything. You have the aesthetic, then the ingeniosity of the uh, complication which is uh, inside, and then the provenance. It's definitely a unique chance of acquiring uh, a piece of history. It will go for auction and uh, I hope the uh, next owner will enjoy it as much as uh, all their previous owners uh, enjoy it since 1831. So let's go and find out how this special Breguet lot estimated between 600 and 1 million Swiss francs will actually perform. 500,000, 50,000, 700,000, 800,000, the lucky number. I'm selling once, twice, it's all 850,000. Thank you very much.